Welcome back. In this video, it's now time to start building out the design and the functionality for our translate screen. Let's get started by adding the additional components that we're going to need to create our translation app. So in the original version, we had a label up at the top for telling the user what screen they were on. Uh, we also had a, a label underneath that, um, and that's where we showed the translation when it was finished. Now you can drag and drop in an additional label if you like, but just to show you some of the features of the platform, you can use the duplicate option here, like so. Now we have label one at the top and label two underneath. We've already experimented with the background uh, image property, but now we're gonna use the background fill. And I'm gonna make this kind of um, transparent a little bit so we can uh, see through the label slightly. Uh, I find the best value here is around 60 or 65, works pretty well. Uh, but you can um, change around the values based on what you like. Let's um, rename this to our uh, label output, like so. And get rid of the text for the moment because there's no translation. Here we can say label title because that's the um, title of the screen. And we can change the font and we can change the color. Again, completely up to you how you want to style this application. Uh, another thing you can do with components is you can adjust the size of them. So we can just grab the bottom of this label and we can make it taller. Again, we can fit a translate or the lots and lots of text here in this label. Um, and then the next component that we want to have is a text input. This is going to give the user somewhere to type in the, the English phrase in this case that they want translated. So this, let's just call that indeed text input because this is where they input their message. Um, text to translate to Spanish, like so. And the hint is what the user sees um, when before they, before they start typing. So again, lovely thing about web preview is we can jump in here and say, Hello, like that. So that's the text that appears. Uh, it gives the user a suggestion of what they should be building. The last thing to do is to make um, is to add in another button under here. Uh, so translate like this. Um, so a couple of ways. One obviously is to drag and drop it onto the um, screen. But I want to show uh, and this duplicate function one more time because um, with our label, we made a, a version of the label that we liked and we um, copied it here on the screen. But a really neat thing that you can do is you can actually choose a different button. Now that we've got the, the properties and the style that we, we want in our app, we can duplicate our start button here on the first screen. Uh, you can see now we have two, two start buttons here, button start, button start one, and I can actually drag it over onto my um, translate screen, just like this. So let's rename this to translate and rename here, translate like that. And this is the design portion of this project. So you can pause the video here if you want. Um, four components on this screen for, for now to get started with. Uh, very, very simple. And uh, come back then and we'll, we'll look at the blocks for translating text from this text input and displaying it in the, in the label. In the previous video, we designed the um, translation screen for our app. We gave the user somewhere to type their text. We gave a button to trigger or request a translation and we created a label here to display the output like so. So that's the uh, the option up here. And what we want to do is uh, anytime the user clicks on the translate button, we want to use our output label here. We are going to use the text. This is where we're going to display the translation from our text input. So they're going to type in some text and uh, it's going to show in the output label. In this case, we haven't actually done anything to this text that the user has input. So here, if we go to speech, we have a few different options here. So we have say, we have translation, and we have a speech recognizer. So what we can do here, let's uh, swap these around like this. Now what's happening is that our label is going to be a translation of the word hello, and it's gonna translate from English, and it's gonna translate it into Spanish. Again, remember those drop downs that we saw in the uh, earlier videos where you can choose again the input language uh, like so and you can choose the output language so there are tons of different options here for you to uh, choose a language that you're studying or a language that you're interested in and customize this 
rather than just translating the word hello over and over again, what we're going to do is make this dynamic by um, putting in the um, text from our text input, like so. Let's preview this on our device very quickly. Uh, testing, like so. Let's click translate. And here we go, we have a translation into uh, the Spanish language as well. Uh, one final thing that we'll do is just tidy this up so that we clear out the text input when we're finished and so that our app is a little bit easier to use. So we're gonna go to here, let's change out, let's clear out rather, the text input text like that. And very, very quickly and very easily, you can preview then this change. So uh, one more test. When I click the button, I should see my translation in the label, just like we did before, but this text should disappear. So one more uh, test. And down here, we've now cleared this out uh, brilliant. Uh, it's now it's now working and it's now easier to use than ever before. Uh, so go ahead and add these blocks into your application and we'll come back then for the next two screens.